back. Sorry if it's so shaky, I'm holding this with my hand. Kembali lagi di series aku 7 hari berkain, a series in which I will document myself doing my daily life activities for 7 consecutive days tapi memakai kain. Jadi hari ini aku lagi di Bintaro and I'm doing a little bit of a film post production thing that's coming soon, so can't wait for that and I'm just gonna be vlogging. I don't know. I can't really vlog that much today, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you um, my outfit today. It's pretty cute. Check out my decision making process on how I decided to make this outfit today. So go ahead and watch that first. We're using this one because I've been looking forward to using this for so long because it's one of my newest buys and it is hella expensive. And it's expensive karena ini adalah batik tulis asli dari Tata Bebe Batik Lassem. Really gorgeous white based kain. So the base is uh, white, tapi ilustrasi-ilustrasinya, isan-isannya itu, isan means isian. Isan-isannya itu warnanya kuning, which is one of my favorite colors. Ini namanya bledak kupu-kupu, because ada ilustrasi kupu-kupunya, as you can see. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this into a Kemben. Dan kenapa aku pakai dalam lengan panjang ini? Karena aku tahu kantor production house-nya itu dingin banget. Dan aku nggak bakal tahan kalau pakai kemben doang. And that's it. This is this is all my outfit's gonna be. Terus aku mau nambahin aksesoris sedikit. I feel like the theme we're going for is kind of like hippie like because it's flowers. Jadi aku mau nambahin these earrings. They're from a brand called Laung Jewelry. Couple of rings from the same brand. They're very like hippie like. And for the finishing touches, I'm gonna add this bag. This white bag is from Kawa Goods, but these straps I added myself. This is for my camera bag for me to carry my camera. So it's kind of like a DIY camera bag. Jangan ditonton, baru ini jangan, jangan ditonton. Jangan! <laughs> ditonton! Guys, you are not going to be able to do this. How are you? 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 Jadi gimana Mbak Dini bekerja di film industri selama pandemi itu stres atau enggak? Beda-beda sih setiap orang. Dalam hal secara teknis sih aku senang bisa kerja dari rumah dan kebetulan memang har lagi harus nulis aja sama ngedit jadi yang harus dari rumah. Tapi ternyata secara kreatif agak sulit. Maksudnya ya nulis tuh jadi emang lebih susah buat aku karena aku nggak bisa sebenarnya nulis di rumah uh, bareng anak-anak bareng kegiatan-kegiatan yang lain di samping-samping mm -hmm. itu ternyata susah banget biasanya emang harus ke mana gitu ke tempat satu tempat terus nulis sendiri tapi karena pandemi jadi harus nulis di rumah jadi itu bikin proses kreatifnya juga jadi lama banget terus ngedit juga awal-awal sih untuk draft-draft pertama oke okay, gitu ternyata bisa juga ngedit dari rumah nggak harus jauh-jauh ke studio tapi ternyata untuk ngelock editing wah <laughs> berat banget lah untuk virtual gitu jadi aku tetap memang ternyata tipe yang cukup konvensional gitu yang memang harus duduk bareng sama editornya tapi ya harus beradaptasi ya gimana dong uh -huh. gitu. ya, jadi semoga sih semakin lama semakin terbiasa jadi setelah tujuh bulan sih lumayan ketemu ritmenya apakah pesan seorang Mbak Kamila Andini kepada para sutradara-sutradara muda di Indonesia atau orang-orang yang berambisi atau mimpi menjadi sutradara? Yang pertama sih um, pasti passion takes all the way gitu maksudnya industrinya tuh sebenarnya apalagi Indonesia nggak nggak besar gitu terus juga up and down banyak masa-masa yang pasti berat gitu melihat filmmaker yang satu dua filmmaker yang ada di industri ini terus bikin film terus ya itu nggak ada hal yang lain selain passion gitu maksudnya emang berarti mereka bisa bertahan dalam segala suka dan dukanya gitu karena memang film sesuatu yang benar-benar mereka suka dan benar-benar panggilan mereka yang kedua sih sebenarnya temuin temuin apa ya temuin jati dirinya sih gitu maksudnya temuin signature-nya itu penting banget nggak harus signature juga gitu tapi sebenarnya 
film apa sih yang kita suka bikin mengetahui apa sih kekuatan kita sebagai filmmaker apa sih kekurangannya juga gitu apa sih yang bisa aku lakukan apa yang nggak bisa dilakukan karena kan pas awal-awal itu pasti kita pingin semuanya gitu kita pikir kita akan bagus di semuanya hmm. gitu maksudnya mungkin juga belum tahu gitu hmm, kita masih nyari gitu jadi ya penting untuk nyari itu gitu dan nemuin itu terima kasih Bintaro gives me so many bad memories. I swear to God, not not about the film production, but just bad memories in general. And you guys, that I am having a giveaway for this to Johari Berkain series, in which I will be giving one lucky winner two pieces from my Akain collection. So I am looking at the fact that we already have an overwhelming amount of participants. There are so many of you joining my giveaway, and I am so grateful for that. I am so happy that you guys are moved and inspired to try out Kain Indonesia, which is why, after long consideration, I have decided to split the prizes in half. Which means that not only one person gets to win, but two people get to win. So from now on, if you want to join the giveaway, you also have to comment down which Kain you would like to win, the pale green one or the blue line art one. And there will be two winners, and each winner gets one Kain. All of the instructions are already in the description box down below. It's very simple, all you need to do is be subscribed to my channel and like this video. And the second thing you need to do is comment your favorite part of the Juhari Berkain series. It can be your favorite part from the whole series or your favorite specific part from each of the videos. The third one, this is a bonus entry. Um, you can go to my Instagram and click on this post and comment why you should win this giveaway and tag three friends. So that's a bonus entry, that's not mandatory, but if you do that, then you'll get a bonus point. I'm gonna go now. Thank you for watching this very, very short vlog. I'm gonna go. Bye.